Hey guys, welcome back to Contest Prep University. We're going to wrap up this series. And as I promised last time, we're going to talk about how to make money. And Adam is a rich dude. He has made a shit ton of money in the sport. And he's going to tell you all about it right now. Well, for me, well, an introduction, of, I know I'm, I'm putting you right on the spot like that, but a lot of it's investing in, in some things outside of bodybuilding. I mean, it, you know, bodybuilding isn't my only, you know, revenue stream. It's been real estate and flipping homes and doing stuff like that along the ways. But without bodybuilding, it wouldn't have initially funded that. So I don't really like having all my eggs in one basket. But there's tons of other ways um, sponsors can really help. Even just a small amount of money adds up. So um, I was really lucky that Core Nutritional selected me as one of their athletes. And it didn't even just stop at supplement promotion, but I've actually gotten some great athletes through Core because they found me through Core Nutritionals or uh, a podcast that I did with them or a series I did with them. So you've got to think of everything you do as a branch and, you know, don't be afraid to hold some of that money to make it grow and, you know, uh, essentially just, you know, make $20, $40 eventually. So it really does come down to aligning with some great people. It is always easiest to sell what you align with. Uh, I, I don't have to fake any sales with Core. They're a great supplement company and they're, they're really scientific in the formulas that they create. And that is why I really was excited to align with them. I actually had my own supplement line when I signed on with Core, and they basically were cool with me getting rid of what I had over the course of a certain amount of time. And I said, this is a great opportunity because it's a supplement company that I stand behind. And, uh, you know, I was willing to cut what I was doing to essentially do that. And it, I've never looked back. <laughs> well, I think this is a good first step because a lot of people out there who are paying for posing coaches and nutrition coaches, going to camps and conferences, and then buying suits and heels and things like that. Like, you know, somebody just needs some kind of relief. Like I, I need to stop spending so much money and everybody wants sponsorship. And it just takes finding those avenues, finding companies who are willing to interview for affiliate status. Then you could end up going to some of these big shows and being seen. Just resume material alone that is helpful for. And then you may translate that into another step where all of a sudden you're doing some coaching. Uh, certainly what I spend most of my career doing right now is equipping coaches to be great coaches. We certify, we license, we educate, we mentor. Um, but there are there are so many different ways that you can take your passion for the sport and start bending it into income streams. I wonder, besides sponsorships and coaching, uh, what other ways you think of in terms of the way people can can start funding some of their their sport pursuits? Yeah, well, they can always start a, a side business based on the sport. Maybe they enjoy sewing or maybe they have some kind of service. I, I literally know a girl who does suit, hair, makeup, consults and just tells people what artists they should go to. And I think that's so cool because it's so outside of the box. Uh, sometimes you can start YouTube channels, podcasts, and you start getting residuals based on, you know, how many views your content gets. Uh, even Instagram creators and TikTok creators make money. And I think that that's amazing. So there's there's so many things that you can do. Some of the coaches nowadays, uh, they're getting into photography. Uh, my wife is getting into photography, which is super cool. So that's another stream that we can use for social media, or, you know, she can even make some money just by doing client photo shoots and stuff like that. And you, you ran the gamut with that. That, that is incredible in terms of the, the variety diversity you could have. It, it makes me just go back to the old adage that, um, 
you know, necessity is the mother of invention. And when you can get in and just creatively look at all the things that you need as a competitor, and then you can see where you may have some skill or interest and start providing some of that yourself. That's, that's incredible. Uh, I, I also, j- just to wrap up something that you said it is to take your experiences here and leverage them into other areas. So you were able to take direct revenue and income and invest in other parts of your your professional interests, you know, real estate or whatever. Um, it, it makes me think that people look at us as disciplined and we're willing to do this hard work and so forth. And some people not even interested in this sport look at that and you could even launch into helping other people create um you know career paths or just, just do kind of counseling or mentorship for people who maybe not interested in this sport but I'm, I'm speaking of nutrition and fitness for other people other demographics even kids uh can be an incredibly worthwhile thing and, and there are there are career opportunities there absolutely you know one thing that I love about this is that there's just so many avenues. There's things, a lot of things I mentioned, there's something out there that no one's even thought to do yet. (laughs) So if you can really think out the box, it's probably a good idea and you should follow through with it. So many people have great ideas without action behind them. And that's the unfortunate thing because I think there's a lot of good ideas out there that people are just afraid to take action on. So I would really encourage any listener to, if you have a great idea, follow through with it and see if it works. And it, you know, just to close out this series. I'm I'm living proof, sitting right in front of you, an 11 year old who just loved the pursuit of gaining muscle and dreaming of of competing someday and being big and strong as a young boy. Here I am. I've made a career out of it, and I know many people are doing that as well. So hope that helps, guys. This series on building a career. We want you to be successful as well as happy. So uh, hope it helped, and we'll see you next time with a new series in Contest Prep University. <laughs>